Greetings and welcome to another edition of a Turf Talk. I'm your Alice Michael Kane, and I will take you through a preview of the upcoming 11 race card. That's going to be on show at Kimmel's Park on Saturday, the 13th of May, 2023. The feature is going to be the Yvonne Mattis Cup. That's going to be race number 10 on the card. It's an open to the contest, so thrills it up. They'll be going 1,800 metres on 9 for longs, a purse of 1.14 million, and a field of 10, a similar to go post The ninth event will be the Mother's Day Special. That's going to be over 1,000 metres straight. It's for restricted allowance to native bred thrills, nuns of 20 importies, thrills and up maidens. They race a purse of 1 million and 20,000, a field of 12 will go. The distance of a thousand meters straight. First post is at 11:30 a.m. Let's hit the ground running as we always do on your favorite horse racing preview show, Turf Talk. The Omen Contest is a maiden special event for an 80 three holes. It'll be going 17 other meters, eight and a half furlongs, or a mile and a sixteenth. The purse is 990,000. Regular six starts in the first event. Minimum guaranteed payout is. 3.5 million, and the jackpot stands at 3.439 million. My best four for the opener. Numbers 2, God Still Love Me, 3, Leading Lad, 6, Home Alone, and 9, Uncharted, 2, 3, 6, and 9. That's going to go in the open contest. Number 2 is God Still Love Me, ran a big race on debut, second by length, 3 quarters behind from Sheer to Bend. That was over 6 furlongs, running on. The final time, they won 15 flat. God Still Love Me would have gained immensely from that exposure of the debut effort. Now gets 2.5 furlongs longer to travel, and once uh, seen on the trip, he should be in the thick of things where it matters more. Radish Roman Ryan's return to Gersibati. And Owen and Norris Twins, second time Lasix administered for God Still Love Me. Number three leading lad was at even money at last, third by 12 lengths behind Modern Miracle and Home Alone over a mile. Figure now fitted by turn Anthony Nunes. Matthew Bennett picks up the model, placing Tevin Foster in the saddle. Leading lad now looks well poised for a better effort. Was fourth on debut by five and a half lengths, Rand Green behind Loyal Action, May Seneton and Princess Talese. Number six is Home Alone. This one has been written by Onin Mullins for New Delicing Trainer. Yours truly, Michael Kane, your racing analyst. Now have another hat to wear as a New Delicing Trainer. And this Home Alone is owned by the Seeker. And Home Alone has been working fairly well as since that effort on the 29th of April. A lackluster effort, 8 by 28 lengths behind Brown Skin Girl, Life is Life and House Stepper. The effort of the 1st of April, very encouraging, second by 6 lengths behind Modern Miracle. And in turn was 5 and 3 quarter lengths clear of leading lad. So Home Alone, the cheek pieces have now been fitted by your silly Michael Kane and Oni Modern's Arks to ride. I'm expecting Home Alone to return to good form here. And that effort of the 1st of April should be good enough to get the job done. Number 9 is Uncharter. This one had a big effort in the Pick 3 Super Challenge Sofa on the 26th of November. Third by just two lengths by Legit Boss and Mamma Mia. was a nose behind Mamma Mia. And you know Mamma Mia is a multiple winner. And Mamma Mia, Mama Mia really recently finished second in the Portmore so this on charter has disappointed badly since that third place effort in the Pick 3 Super Saiyan Sophia Stakes event. Went up at 2 to 5 next in town, third by 7 and a quarter lengths over love. Even money, two starts are back, fifth by 9 and a half lengths behind Curlin's Dune, and 2 to 1 at last, a dull effort, 8 by 10 and a half lengths behind Loyal Action. On charter, though, has looked up at Texas Science, 5 and a half furloughs in 109 and a fifth by 103 and a fifth on the 29th of April, and on the 22nd of April, 5 and a half furloughs in 109 and 3 by 103 and a fifth of a second. And uh, the most recent Timed exercise gallop came on the 6th of May. Out oh, the shoot, 7 furlongs in 133.4. Ray Lewis is riding in spanking form. And he rides here for Jason Acosta, champion trainer and champion owner Carlton Watson. They teamed up recently for multiple winners. So Uncharter can't help but run his best race since that uh, third place effort some time ago. Make it 6 2 3 9 in the opening contest. Home alone. Hopefully. This one will get me off the mark right off the bat as a new licensed trainer. For second, make it number two, God Still Love Me. For third, make it number three, Leading Lad. For fourth, make it number nine, on charter. In this event, Dr. Polite's selection is number eight, Life is Life. And Marshall from Purple Line and my groom, he goes to number ten, Bad Investment. Race two is next. We'll start the catch time in race three. So it's an 11 race card. Catch time usually begins in race two, but this time around the catch time starts in race three. What will start in race two? Is the play spot eight back at the minimum guaranteed payout of two hundred and fifty thousand after the mandatory payout day, which was on the most recent race day, where over two point uh, when we, that three point six billion was paid out. So back fresh with that single with a bonus starting off on this card. It's a maiden condition race and bed five and up. A field of seven will go a distance of eleven hundred meters. They race a purse of six hundred and eighty thousand. My best four here include one sparkling tradition, four. Silver Soul, 6, Mardell, and 7, Reminiscent Bowler, 1, 4, 6, and 7. In a very average 
lineup for maidens. Number seven reminiscent bowler, maybe the one to back here, was uh, very highly fancied on the 15th of April when making his seasonal debut 9 to 5 and was second behind the, the debutant Sherwood Forest. Reminiscent bowler's well being was uncovered there, and this one has looked fairly well at exercise uh, three for in 38 flat around the bend on the 6th of May. And Rian Lewis now picks up the mall for turning the Barrington doors, cheek pieces removed. Reminiscent Bowl is going to be my top choice here. Number one, Sparky Tradition makes uh, her seasonal debut. And this one last year, so on the 20th of November, had some good form towards the back end of last season. Second on three consecutive occasions. On the 15th of October, second by four and a quarter behind Zedai. On the 22nd of October, second by length behind Magic Bullet. And on the 6th of November, second by five and three quarters behind Little Grow with Things. So any of those two eff- three efforts reproduce here, we'll see Sparky Tradition sparkling where it matters most. Six-time champion jockey Omar Walker replaces Rowan and Forbes in the saddle. A stable change now. Sparkling Edition takes orders from Fitz Norm Willows, more popular than C Features. And he's, of course, a master at preparing the finish. And this mayor should respond well to the expertise of Fitz Norm Williams. Number six, Mardell should be prominent as well. Third and second, the last a couple of outings. And Silver Soul has also been on the frame for third and fourth, the last three outings. Look for Silver Soul and Mardell to be on the premises come decision time. A wide open second event to start the place spot eight. I'm going to go seven, one, six, and four as my order of preference. Reminiscent Bolo to get a better of sparkling tradition. Mardell. Silver Soul. Dr. Polite and Marshall, they go for number one. Sparkling tradition. Race three is next. Here's where we'll start to catch nine. Minimum guarantee paid is 500,000. The single winner bonus over 2.3 million. We have nine horses declared to go postwards. It's for the claim level of four hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand. Native bred six years up. Nuns of four also invited to take part without a claim tag. Of the field of nine, I prefer numbers one Devonte, two Casual Peach, four Duke of Springs, and six Biblical Legend. One, two, four, six. That's my best four. Number one Devonte, second of the last out behind Dodge Link over six and a half furlongs. Claim from that event for four hundred thousand. Now brought back on the identical tag. Stedman Curtis, the new trainer by Peter Harvey Wrights for owner Samora Clark. Look for Devonte. Throw on a brave race once again. Number two is Casual Peach. Uh, sneaks down to this level, 400,000. Usually races at 750 and 1 million dollar claiming level. This Casual Peach has absolutely nothing to fear here. Has uh, looked up at exercise somewhat on the 4th of May when 3 in 37 flat over the straight course. Jordan Byrd picks up the mount here for turning Patrick Lynch. He's got to be 50 kilos of weight. And this Casual Peach, very lightly weighted and must be respected coming down to this Level for the first time. Number four is Duke of Spring. Tevin Foster rides for new licensed trainer Carlton Collinor, more popular known as Jerry. And uh, Duke of Springs finished fifth on last at a 550 level by five and a half lengths there behind Colorado Ranger. Two starter back was an 11 and a half length winner beating XY Soul and Jokeriot over eight furlongs at this 400,000 level. So back down to the 400,000 level now. Duke of Springs looks very likely to give Carlton Collinor his first win and a newly licensed trainer. My top choice is indeed going to be two cost freaks. Number six is Biblical Legend. Also steps down the claim and ladder from 550 to 400,000 was fifth, make that fourth by five and a quarter lengths at last to Milkman John P and Bull Sammy at five round and the uh, two starts are back, four by eight is behind Blood Song, three starts are back, four by eight and three quarter lengths also behind Blood Song. So this Biblical Legend having finished fourth on three consecutive outings at the higher level is going to be perfect suited to the 400,000 level. Now, Marshall Porter picks up the mount for Trader Byron Davis, a.k.a. Peko. Look for Biblical Legend to be in the thick of things where it matters most. Make it 4, 6, 1, and 2 in race number 3. Duke of Springs to get the better of Biblical Legend, Devontae, and Casual Peach. In this event, Marshall from Purple Island agrees with me with Duke of Springs. Dr. Pordite's selection is number 7, Gorgeous Gift. Race number... Four is next. We start early pick four here. It's a restricted allowance. Four for an eighty bed for five is an up nuns of three. And in Portis, five is an up nuns of two. They raise a purse of 730,000. They'll be going 1,000 meters straight or five for long straight. My best four includes one Silver Fox, two Bad Gallery with four Nakamura, and seven Morse Code. One, two, four, and seven. That's my best four for race number four. Number one, Silver Soul, second on the last four occasions, second by a head behind True Bavado last. And, uh, this one continues to find one too good. John Post won at five for them straight, not the best place to be. However, Richard Henry chips off four kilos of the allotted 55 kilo weight. It should be 51 kilos here for Silver Fox. And uh, he should be able to tack across and make his presence well felt. Bad Galleriwe returned to form after a 21-month absence. Won by seven and a half lengths, beating Sticky Don and Hope and Perseverance. And this uh, Bad Galleriwe still has the back class and still 
should be better than five years of nuns of three. Tevin Foster maintains about Anthony Nunes. Bad guy Riri, the one to beat here in the fourth event. Number four, Nakamura, the Tony Young special, number four in the fourth. Ray Lewis tries to Michael Malo. Nakamura returned to active competition on the 29th of April, coming off the claim for the first time in October last year. Fourth by 11 and a quarter lengths in that same true Bavada Silver Fox event. Silver Fox is present here, and this one was some 11 and of Nakamura, so Nakamura has a lot to do to turn the tables on Silver Fox, but he'll definitely keep Nakamura on the right side. Second time out for trainer Michael Marlowe. And number seven is Morse Code, Anthony Allen Wright, or Casper Kewalsing. This one is third by five and three quarter lengths to Kataba and Silver Fox over five straight on the 9th of April. A reproduction of an effort like that should see Morse Code being on the frame in this fourth event. Make it 2147 in race number four. Bad Gallery will get the better of Silver Fox, Nakamura, and Morse Code. In this event, Dr. Polite and Marshall, they agree with me, with Bad Gal Riri. The fifth event is next. We'll start the early pick five here. Restricted allowance three, native bread five is up nuns of four, and importees five is up nuns of three. They race for a purse of 770,000. They go a distance of 1,500 meters or seven and a half furlongs. Off the field of nine, my best four, three Catalina, five fault line, eight curling slide, and nine JJ the striker, three, five, eight, nine. That's where we're going in the fifth event. Catalina is also beat Calvin Bailey Wright, so newly licensed trainer Paul Swaby. So the newly licensed trainers are out in their numbers for the first day uh, since getting their license, and we hope that we'll have a very successful day. Catalina finished a strong second behind Ombro in the last, over seven furlongs, fits perfectly here. Visor removed. Look for Catalina to be finishing best of all. Curling Slide will try to make all the running the speediest in the lineup, but seven and a half furlongs might be a bit taxing. However, expect this one to be the one to catch. Fault line should go well for Ray Lewis and Jason Acosta. And Jada the striker should go well for Anthony Allen and Fitznorm Williams. Make the numbers 3859 in order of preference. Catalina over Curling Slight, Fault line and JJ the striker. At this point, we're going to take our mid-program break. When we return, we wrap up the remaining six races on the 11 race card. Welcome back uh, to the program. You're still Michael Kane, your racing analyst, now new to licensed trainer, uh, taking through the preview of the upcoming 11 race card. And we are at race number six. And here's where we start the Twilight Six. Minimum guaranteed period of 3.5 million. And we have a field of 11 maidens. They'll be going a distance of 1,100 meters or five and a half furlongs. The purse is 190,000. My best four for race number six to start the Twilight Six includes two Money Miser. What a name for a horse. Interesting name. Number six, Stein. Number seven, James. And number nine, Essential Quality. Two, six, seven, and nine. That's going to go in race number six. Number two, Money Miser. Debutant to three old chestnut coat by Soul Warrior. Out of the traditional mayor, she's traditional. And remember, she's traditional. Won the 1,000 guineas at massive odds with Trevor Duke Dap Slicer Simpson in the saddle for trainer Fitzroy Glispy. And Fitzroy Glispy is the owner, trainer, and breeder of Money Miser. Ray Lewis will ride. Lasix administered for the debut, and this money miser has worked well. 47.3 by 1013 on the 8th of May. 116 on the 5th of a second for 6 further on the 20th of April. Money miser is expected to do very well on his debut. Number 6, Stein. The Solzner also makes a debut. A 3 old big coat by Bernie Identity out of the Sorrentino Star Mayor. Make that Sorrentino Mayor. Ruby Rose. Brennan on Eric Henry. Train Girls Sabrati. The Dawkins Ride. Blinkers. Lasix on for the debut. And this Stein has also worked well. Short three pointers in 39.3, easy on the 7th of May. And this one uh, should be going very well from the start of the contest. Number seven is James, had a recent debut on the 22nd of April, third ballet behind Epic and Slam Dunk. And that was a very encouraging run. Second time, day six now, six time champion jockey Omar Walker maintains the more of Spencer Chung. Two kilos lighter is James. James definitely can get it right. Second time of asking. Number nine, essential quality. Uh, this one. Raced on debut on the 15th of January and showed good speed. At the half mile, was in front by a neck. Came to the quarter pole third by four. Came to the front pole four by five and a half lengths and was four by eight and a half lengths in the end behind Bazinga, Bella Bella and Savvy Girl. Bella Bella came back and won the 8.30 sprint over a thousand meters straight. And Savvy Girl has come back to win since. Essential quality. We'll have second time day six for the second run. And uh, essential quality is trained by new licensed trainer Oral Hayden of Busy Racing Stable fame, and Tevin Foster has been appointed to ride. Tevin Foster does well for Busy Racing Stable. Essential Quality worked well on the 6th of May, 449.49.4, alongside Talona, Stable Mate, and earlier in April went 23.3 on the 29th of April, so this one is a speedy sort. Essential Quality could very well give Oral Hayden his first winner as a newly licensed trainer. I'm going to take number nine, Essential Quality, to get the better of number seven, James, then number six, Stein, and number two, Money Monster. I have a very strong feeling 
that the new licensed trainers will be doing a very good job on the first day at the races. Marshall from Purple Island. He agrees with me with essential quality and Dr. Paul Light's tip is number four, Money Market. Trained by none other than Ryan Darby. Race number seven is next. We start the late pick five here. We have a field of eight. It's a restricted allowance for native bread, four up, none of three, and import is folded up. Non wheels of two, they raise for a purse of 750,000 and they go five and a half furlongs or 1100 meters. Off the field of eight, my best four includes one, March and Shoot, trained Marlon Brown of Soldier Campaign, newly licensed trader. Two, Talona, trained Oral Hayden of Busy Racing Stale Buffet, newly licensed trainer. Three, Jaguar, that one trained by Road Matthew. And six, Noble Impulse, that one trained by Anthony Nunes. One, two, three, and six. That's what going to go in race number seven. Number one, Martin shoot six by five lengths on Das over five for straight, sneaking up on them. Scooby one, posing already was second, Ramblin' Rose was third. This Martin shoot, quite versatile, has won at eight for as well at six for also, has been working well, three for in 36 flat on the 8th of May. On the 26th of April, seven for in 131 flat. On the 15th of April, six for in 116 two. So this Martin shoot has been well and truly prepared by Martin Brown. Matthew Bennett, his favorite rider, picks up the mound, visor on, figure it off. March and shoot will definitely be coming at them in deep stretch. Number two, Talona, easily the speediest of them all, will be tackled though by the likes of Jaguar in the early going. There's also good speed from Nova Impulse and uh, there's also good speed from Grace Sully Maid. So it won't be an afternoon show for anyone who wants to lead this contest. Talona, train Oral Hayden, own DML Racing Stable. You will pin up the champion apprentice, picks up the mount, and this Talona will have blinkers off and has worked well alongside still made essential quality on the 6th of May with 49 and a fifth of a second. So Talona could be the fastest on the lineup and may be the one to catch. In these type of races, we have a couple of speed horses. Well, usually if one of the speed is able to clear off and outbid the others for the lead, that will take care of the other speed horses and in turn make it easier for whosoever leads the contest to make all the running but if they eyeball each other it will pave the way for a horse up off the pace so let's see if talona can clear off and uh, make it a gate to our performer jaguar both sold and it certainly won't allow that to happen he's a very fast individual was a winner by four and a half lengths on last in 1083 made all the running beating jungle boogie and randy mangada but steps up in class and i always like to see the horses perform at least once or twice up in class but this type of speed that jaguar possesses he could very well Make it two wins in the run. Noble Impulse won by some Ted Lens in 107.4 on the 15th of January. An effort similar to that will see Noble Impulse being bang content and throw. Tevin Foster writes to Anthony Nunes and own of four aces. You can draw a line to that last poor effort by this Noble Impulse on the 29th of April when beaten by Phoenix Risen. Make it 2631 in race number seven. An interesting five and a half four round sprint. Gonna take Talona to get the better of Noble Impulse, Jaguar, and the late running March and Shoot. In this event, Dr. Polite and Marshall, they both agree with me with Talona. And this is Marshall's bet of the day. Race 8 starts to late pick 4. We have a field of 11. They'll be going a distance of 1,100 meters or 5 and a half furlongs. They race for a purse of 990,000. Maiden Special Rate Event, Native Bird 3 Division 2. My best 4 here includes 2. Lady Habimala. 5. Slam Dunk. 7. Digital Light. And 11. Phenomenal 1. 2, 5, 7 and 11. Those are my best four for race number eight. Number two, Lady Abimala. This one, a three-year-old chestnut filled by legal process other than Miracle Man Mayor, Lady Abajita. Lady Abajita won the Jamaica Oaks, written by Paul Francis for Hall of Fame trader Richard Zan. Lady Abimala is bred in the purple. Visor on for the debut. Tongue tie on. Lasix administered. Romario Spencer, a.k.a. Turtleback, picks up the mount. And this Lady Abimala, owned by Bobby Stud Farm, Bred by Hall of Famer Henry W. Jagai ODJP. Look for this Lady Abhimala to run a brave race as she has worked fairly well. 3436 flat, 448 flat. So she has shown sufficient speed to be considered. Number five, Slam Dunk. Second by head on last behind Epic. And this one should go well in this spot. Anthony Thomas picks up the bound, replacing Dane Dawkins for Trader Gear Sabrati. Slam Dunk is going to be my top choice here. Digital Light number seven. Third on the last two outings uh, running on. Look for Digital Light to be running on once again. Champion Apprentice Ubil Pinner picks up the mount once again for trainer Gary Griffiths and owner J.J. Tash. Number 11, Phenomenal 1, 4 by 5 length behind from Sheer to Ben and God Still Love Me. 
as Rock Fellow Wells throws six for the 121 flat on the 6th of May. Rain Lewis picks up the mount for champion trainer Jason Costa, and owner Sparky Dollar Stein Sables will keep Phenomenal 1 on the right side. Make it 5, 7, 11, and 2 in race number 8, and that slam dunk to get the better of Digital Light. Phenomenal 1 and Lady Abhimala. Dr. Paul Wright and Marshall, they both agree with me with Slam Dunk. The ninth event is a Mother's Day special. We have a field of 12. They will go in 1,000 meters straight. Happy Mother's Day to my mother, Sharon Marcia Kane. They raised her purse of a million and 20,000. My best four in the Mother's Day special. One, City Hawk. Three, Burlap. Five, Uncaptured Empress. And six, Acknowledge Me. One, three, five, and six. That's where we're going to go in the Mother's Day special. Burlap is number three. That's the one I like on top. Six-time champion jockey Omar Walker rides a Hall of Fame trader Richard Zan. This burlap uh, was a scratch at the gate on that, injured. Working well, 46-3 by a minute, one flat over the straight course on the 8th of May. Burlap, a freely useful sort, and this one should be right there come this season time. Number five, Uncaptured Empress, raced well on debut, third ballot behind the importee. Inspire Force, Bulletproof Coffee, another importee was second. Uncaptured Empress looked well, and she's a nice, well-built, tall, muscular filly. And she has second time Blazik. Ahmed Robert picks up the mother trader Peter McMaster and owner Misuki. Uncaptured Empress will give a very brave account of herself. Number one, City Hawk won in uh, Gate to Wire performance on the 22nd of April, returning off a break and reports a vast improved runner. 59 4, beating Bella Soul and Digital Light. We'll have to do it for the one draw, but uh, showed sufficient speed on that re entry run uh, to be shown. The word of respect here. And number six, acknowledge me third by 10 and a quarter lengths to ability and electrode and last. Charlton Riding maintains the mountain here for Michael Thomas. Acknowledge me should also be kept on the right side for this ninth event. Make it 3516 in the Mother's Day special. Burn up to get a better of the on captured Empress. City Hawk and acknowledge me. In this event, Marshall from Purple Island agrees with me with Burlap and Dr. Paul Light is number five. On Captured Empress. The 10th time penultimate is the Evil Mattis Cup. It's the feature. An over the Talons contest for three and up, 1.14 million in the purse. A field of 10 will go nine furlongs. Of the 10 runners set to go postward, my best four includes two, the head corner stone, six, crimson, nine, Marquesas, and 10, miniature man, two, six, nine, and 10. Number two is the head corner stone, throwing a clean cotton dance behind blue vinyl, but that can be forgiven. Look at the previous run over six and a half furlongs, also behind blue vinyl. Six by six and a half length in the end was four by three and a half lengths at the quarter pole, four by five lengths at the front pole over a trip way too short of his best. Visor now returned, tongue tie now returned. Paul Francis maintains a bump for the third consecutive occasion for Trinidad Sabrati and owner chief, the head corner zone. Finished fourth in the derby last year, also finished fourth in the set letter. Nine furlongs right up his street. Look for his best run in a long time. Number six, Crimson, threw in a clink on dust when finishing last. Behind Blue Vinyl in that one-mile contest. The visor has now been returned by Trinidad Sabrati. Aaron Chatter replaces Radish Roman in the saddle. Look at the two second-place efforts prior to that poor effort on last. Second by four lengths behind Money Monster on the 1st of April over seven and a half four rounds in 133.4. Second by two and a quarter lengths on the 11th of March that came behind Sistin Treasure. His tail mate over nine furlongs and 25 yards in 157 and two. And that day he beat Money Monster who returned to beat him by four lengths next in town. So Crimson must be respected. Number nine, Marquesas, former set ledger winner, ran a big race on the 21st of January at 99 to 1. Second behind Sweet Majesty by length and a quarter, almost created a massive upset when making a bold bid at the further and a half point. Subsequent to that, has had three below par efforts. Seven by 27 lengths of Rodeway Algo, six by 11 and a half lengths of Treasure, fifth by 18 and a half lengths behind Blue Vinyl, Tevin Foster picks up the mount, and that's a good enough indicator of what you can expect from Marquesas. And miniature man number 10, Abigail Abel Wright. She was a border nast, fourth by Lem Lens in that same blue vinyl event over a mile. Miniature man with the lady Abigail Abel in a race in honor of a lady, Mrs. Yvonne Mattis. And uh, we definitely are going to take that rig with uh, Mrs. Mattis being honored here with Abigail Abel, miniature man. So number 10, miniature man to get the better of number six, Crimson. Then, nine Marquesas and two, the head corner stone. Dr. Paulette and Marshall, they both agree with me, with Minister Man. The 11th and final will be the curtains down as we run out of the time. A field of 11 will go five and a half for longs. I'm going to go one, 11, three, and nine. That's my order of preference. Pip, you will pin up riding for Anthony Nunes to get the better of Traveler's Lodge. Ray and Lewis for Christopher Pearson. Then, Adenosine, Anthony Thomas for Enos Brown. And King Air 
with Paul Francis for trainer Colin Ferguson. 1-11-3-9 in the night pan. Dr. Paulette's cook food special is number 11, Traveler's Lodge. And Marshall from Purple Island goes to number 1, Pip. That's the program for you, Turf Talk. I'm your sir, Alice Michael Kane, now new licensed trainer. It was a pleasure taking to live and direct from the studios of KLS Sport Trader on behalf of our student engineer, Richard Cat Addison, until it's time for live racing from Cayman's Park, 11.30 a.m. Goodbye for now.